I just wanted to inform you that we have just uh, asked for an AOB on the uh, possibility of creation of dirty bomb in Ukraine by Ukrainian authorities. So we, we think it's a very serious uh, danger, serious threat. Ukraine has the capacity, you can, Ukraine has uh, all the uh, reasons to do so, because we know that Zelensky regime uh, wants to avoid, uh, first of all, defeat. Secondly, wants to involve uh, NATO for direct uh, clash with Russia, which is very dangerous, and, uh, but which will be profitable for uh, Zelensky regime to remain in power. Uh, we uh, indicated that a dirty bomb is not a sophisticated device uh, to be created. Actually, it's a shell uh, with some radioactive waste, and uh, it's very difficult to detect uh, the activities to create this dirty bomb. But we have the information which we shared uh, both in our letter that we sent yesterday and uh, we shared also this in uh, telephone conversations uh, with, uh, between our Minister of Defense and his, his uh, counterparts uh, from several countries. So uh, we indicated that there are at least two uh, facilities that uh, have appropriate scientific knowledge for the uh, creation of uh, this dirty bomb. Uh, they are also indicated in our letter. I think everybody has already seen our letter, so I will not dwell into the details. How, what's the evidence for that? What's the evidence that Russia has that uh, some sort of order has been given by Ukraine to do this? It's intelligence information. Can you share with us? Do we share intelligence normally? Or do, does somebody shares, uh, share intelligence uh, in such situations? We see that we know it, and we shared it in our telephone conversation with the counterparts uh, who have a uh, uh, necessary uh, level of clearance, I would say. So those who wanted to understand that the threat is uh, serious, they, have, they had all the possibilities to understand it. Those who want to reject it as Russian propaganda, they will do it anyway. So we're not very much worried about this. Yeah. Yeah. Ray Bouchafra from Sky News Arabia. Uh, your Western colleagues, uh, they deny the, the allegations that there is a dirty bomb, and they argue that this is not the first time Russia does this kind of allegation. They, they say that you did that before with the chemical laboratories, the DOD program in Ukraine, etc. What's uh, your comment on that? With chemical laboratories, I think we will continue. It's not allegations. This is a very serious process, and we, are, we have requested a meeting, uh, I think, in two days, uh, in line with Article 6 of uh, Biological Weapon, Weapons Convention. This is a serious process, and we are launching it. We presented draft resolution in this regard. So I don't think that uh, it will be so easy for our Western uh, former partners uh, to deny uh, these claims. As for the others, uh, there was such a question in the AUB, I asked, I answered, uh, again, my perception is that uh, there are a lot of claims that we have been making about the things that didn't happen, but uh, shouldn't we view it through the perspective that they didn't happen because we raised these claims and because the Ukrainians were afraid to proceed with these provocations? Again, I can refer to telegram channels which indicate clearly that uh, these are the cases uh, in many situations. As for, uh, as for allegations, uh, I can also refer to the situation with the Zaporozhye power plant. Again, everybody knows this is open secret that Ukrainians are shelling this plant because we have absolutely no reason to shell the plant where we are uh, now. So if the Ukrainians are shelling this Zaporozhye power plant uh, in, in, in front of the whole international community, creating uh, danger of uh, nuclear provocation, so why wouldn't they create a dirty bomb? It's the same logic. Why was the meeting held privately? Because there were certain details that we didn't want to disclose. Uh, they ref only uh, are important for the members of the Security Council. But I gave you account more or less of this meeting. But, but those details will be leaked anyway. So what are the details? Well, wait until they are leaked. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to be a spoiler. Yeah. Where, where are these labs? in Ukraine that are where, where are these labs? Okay, I will give you. Supposedly making the, the dirty I think they are, they are enumerated in the letter, but if you want, it's the Kharkov Institute of Physics and Technology uh, and Institute for Nuclear Research of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine located in Kiev. But, 
dirty bombs? Sorry? Does Russia produce dirty bombs? Why, why do we need them? I'm asking you, do you produce dirty bombs? Uh, I haven't heard about it, oh. but that would be totally illogical. Ambassador... Why um, would, would you make a wooden pistol if you have a, a normal one? Yeah. Ambassador, in the yeah. letter yesterday, um, it was Russia stated that you don't intend, you've never intended and mm -hmm. don't intend to use nuclear weapons, but President Putin's speech last month uh, said that all weapons were on the table. So ah, it's not what he said, frankly. That's not what he said? Can it's, you It's your perception, yeah. It was, the message was that uh, he uh, he's, uh, confirmed the Russian nuclear doctrine, which admits usage of nuclear weapons in, term, in situation when there is an existential threat to our country. That's what he said. Actually, the only readiness to use nuclear weapons, to my knowledge, came from uh, already sacked Prime Minister Truss. She said she was ready to push the button. I, I haven't heard about anything, anybody uh, doing the same. Could I just follow up on that, Ambassador? Uh, yeah. President Putin did say that all weapon systems would be on the table if Russia's territorial integrity came under threat from NATO. So to say in the letter that you've never mentioned um, the, or but, referred to the use of nuclear but, weapons uh, is... It's you didn't, at, at you didn't contradict to what I say. It doesn't contradict Russian military doctrine. I, I reiterate, it's about existential threat to Russia. At the Security Council now, yeah. uh, did you say to them what will happen if the supposed uh, dirty bomb that you say that the Ukraine is preparing is going to be used? Did you tell them what, you, what Russia will do? We don't uh, study uh, these hypothetical scenarios. We want to avoid them. That's why we uh, wanted to convene this meeting. But uh, the uh, task of the Ukrainian uh, regime now is to get NATO directly involved uh, in confrontation with Russia. What will happen if there is a direct confrontation between NATO and Russia? I think you have uh, imagination to assume yourself. Okay? Sorry.